this is our second time at recording this um, preview. Mm. I would like credit for my... It, um, Matisse stole a line at the beginning of the video. I would like credit for it. You're a ghostwriter, is what you're saying. I'm more than a ghostwriter. But, but CR ghostwrited um, a song for Rihanna, and Rihanna got all the credits. I think it was Diamonds. But you're not Rihanna. And I'm not a white woman, so I'm not But... Speaking of which, um, there's no way to segue from that to what I'm about to <laughs> say. <laughs> there's absolutely no way I can segue from Sia and Rihanna to what I'm about to say. We've uploaded twice. That's right. Your prayers have been answered. Two times. Two times. Deuce. Deuce. Uh, duh. <laughs> I'm not good with other languages. <laughs> the roundabout. The trailer. Where is it? What's going on? When is it coming back? That upload has gone out today already um so check it out people okay need the views okay desperately okay so check it out okay thank you okay okay What's with the okay? <sighs> just struggling financially fatigued as they say <laughs> okay 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 Yo people, welcome to the YouTube channel. You already know what time it is. It's time for the Juventus versus Chelsea preview people. And I must say, wow, if Roma have risen from their ruins, then Juventus are in jeopardy. They are 10th in the league, people. 10th. So we may not be coming into this in hot fire form, but let me tell you, neither are Juve. Two, win two wins in their last two, but they're still 10th. And the two wins came against teams in the bottom five of Serie A. So take it with a very little smidget grain of salt, but not too much, okay? And obviously, we're all coming off the back of a 1-0 defeat to Manchester City, and the quicker we put that in our rearview mirror, the better. We don't even want to talk about that, okay? No shots on target. I don't want to get into it anymore. We've moved on. We're moving on, okay? We're just going to just pretend like it didn't happen. Just forget about it. It's, it's not important. Now is what really matters. The Champions League, we are the holders. We have got three points from our first game, now it's time to make it six and really take control of this group. It's a group that I expect us to qualify. It's a group that we should be topping. So it's important that really with our most difficult away game when Juventus are not at their brilliant best under Allegri this season, we should take advantage and go there and put out a statement and get a win. Now, in terms of team news, Chelsea, when will it end? When is it going to end, Robbie, as they say? We are just piling up the injuries Piling up. It's a tower of injuries now. Pulisic, we know what it is. You're not fit. It's fine. We move on. It's just nothing. But Kante as well, who's just caught the disease. Mason Mount is not back as well when it looked like he would be back for this game. He's not available. Thomas Tuchel confirms. So three injuries in the midfield to attacking midfield area. Also, James is not available as well. As you know, he's injured. So a couple injuries for Chelsea. Juventus, Dybala, not fit, and really he's been one of their shining lights along with Chiesa, and we'll get into that in a minute. Morata, three goals in seven, former Chelsea player, could have came against us and dunked on us potentially. You know, he's also not available. So it looks like Moise Keane and a certain, who is up front with him? <laughs> Koloseski. 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 Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I really need, I need to go and have time. I don't know. I need to go and have lessons. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, so Juventus' attack is already looking weaker um, without their first choice front pairing. And then on top of that, our defense has been the linchpin, the foundation, the hope, the savior for our team for quite some time. Yes, we conceded at the weekend. But to be honest, with us sacrificing 60% possession to Manchester City and not really getting a foothold in the game in the midfield, um, and not really going forward. We just have allowed more pressure onto ourselves. There's no real surprise that we conceded more shots. Mendy had a great game as well. He made quite a few crucial saves to keep it down. So, you know, our defence is the, the foundation for our team. Their attack is looking very weak now. And, you know, they've conceded 11 goals in eight games this season. So their defence is not looking too great either. Um, so that should be hopefully giving us confidence going forward to do something dangerous. I know I'm asking for a lot, Chelsea, but maybe a, a, an attacking display where you actually, you know, play some good attacking creative football. Maybe there's some link-up play. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe the chemistry and the cohesion is better. Hopefully. We can pray. Um, the midfield. I mean, Juventus are a weird team since Allegri's got back. He's come back, snapped his fingers, and the team is vastly weaker to what it used to be when he was winning Serie A titles. You know, Sandro's getting on now. Quadrado's getting on. Bonucci's getting on. Bezegli's getting on. Um, but they've still got some young promising players, Delit, 
you know, Locatelli, Chiesa. So they've got the 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 mixtures of a good young team. McKenzie. McKenzie, the American. But also, Chesney. What happened to you, sir? You were doing incredible things in Juventus. People were talking about you as the next, you know, next big thing in Juventus. Yes, he's left Arsenal, but he's he's back now. He's doing his big thing in Juventus. He's putting in great performances. You know, some people were even putting him up there with goalkeeper of the year, certain calendar years when he was playing. And now... He wasn't really that good, considering that a 35-year-old Gigi Buffon mm. was rivaling him to start... But Buffon's, the, Buffon's one of the GOATs, if not the GOAT. But a prime 27-year-old Chesney versus a 35 past it Buffon... And he wasn't prime. The banana was still green. It wasn't even ripe yet, bro. He was, he was 27. They don't prime until 30. He's not prime. He's a green banana. You know what Arsene Kepa has a lot of growth. Moving on. There's always shots for Kepa. I don't like it. Uh, it's something that we need to stop. He's, uh, he's doing well. Let's leave him alone. It's bullying at this point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, for us, like I said, we've got injury issues. In terms of my team, up now, I'll be explaining it as, I, as you see it on the screen. For me, um, you know, the defence picks itself. You know, Rudiger. Thiago Silva, Christensen, Mendy in goal. Um, back three, I'm sticking with the back three. Wing backs, I would like to see Chilwell come into, into the team now. I don't think Alonso had the greatest game, but also just in general play, in terms of, you know, fluidity, moving through the field. I think Chilwell just has a better, you know, just, just glides around the pitch a lot easier. He speeds up the play. Lonzo can be a little bit sluggish, a little bit slow, obviously very one-footed. He does not use his right foot in terms of ball control whatsoever. And I just feel like in terms of a, an inside forward or a midfielder linking up with him, it's not as smooth as it would be with Chilwell. So it would be good to get Chilwell back in the team. Let's see what he can do, if he can prove himself to play against Southampton. Alonso's, you know, he's showing a little dip against Man City. Let's see now if the response from Chilwell will be so so great. Asper Lecroy at right, right wing back because James is not available and because I'm putting hudson Adoy elsewhere in this team. Um... The midfield, I'm keeping it to a three. I know a lot of people are now going against the 3-5-2. I personally don't think it's a bad formation. I just think potentially it was a little bit too defensive in hindsight because I did agree with it at the time. It was just a bit maybe too defensive. We couldn't get control against Man City. But I still want to see it again. Jorginho, Kova and Loftus-Cheek. That's right. Loftus-Cheek gets the start. We got injuries. He's been playing well, doing good cameos. He's a good ball carrier, very strong, wins his duels and he can score. Um, you know, he can score with his head. He's got the physicality to do so. Stop smirking. And, you know, we all remember that game against Brighton at home. Him and Hazard curling those balls into the top corner. How many years ago was that? Let's, let's, let's get it back. How many years ago? Stop. How many years ago? Shut up. <laughs> Stop asking difficult questions. Let's, let's hope, let's see what Loftus-Cheek can do. This is an opportunity for him to take advantage of the situation um, and really, you know, even show me who thought that he should, you know, move permanently or go out on loan for more game time. Even show, you know, Tuchel and say, listen, I'm here to, I'm here to start games. I'm not here to be a bit part um, player in this team. And in the front two, um, I'm going Hudson-Odoi and Lukaku. That's right. I'm throwing a spanner in the works and let me know in the comment section what you think about this team and what you think about me putting Hudson-Odoi in the front two. I want to see something different. I've been snoozing. I've been tired. I don't think Kai has been on brilliant form this season apart from the goal that he scored and the Arsenal game. I think Werner is still having issues finishing um, so he's never really going to be that consistent, consistent, um, you know, devastating goal for it that I'm looking for. Pulisic is not available um, and Ziyech has not been great either. So I'm going to just, I'm going to go with a wild card. It's like fantasy football where you just throw the wild card and see what happens. hudson Adoy next to his big brother Rom um, and his big brother Loftus-Cheek behind him. And again, I think there's a lot of fluidity in a chill wall. Loftus-Cheek, hudson Adoy left-hand side. You know, they're all dynamic. They're all quite fluid. And I think, let's see what happens. I'm not saying it's going to work, people. I'm just, it's something that would excite me. And at least at the start of the match, I'd be intrigued to see what could happen. It's a wild card. It's something random. Um, he's got to work on his finishing. Doesn't quite pick his corners, hudson Adoy, More power on his finishing. But he's a good crosser of the ball. 1v1, I want him to be a lot more daring. Let's see if he is on that left-hand side. A lot of people have been calling for it. Let's see if he's more daring down there. Because if he's not, then there's going to be questions being asked. A lot of people are making excuses. I claim he played on the right. That's not his strongest position. Right wing back, too defensive. Now I'm putting him left forward. And you're going to get out wide because Chilwell can make them inverted runs. You're going to get opportunities to go 1v1. You're going to get chances to be dynamic. Let's see what you've got. And Lukaku is no better leader, no better man to be alongside him, hold the ball up, use his physicality, take some of the people off Callum in terms of that. And if Benucci is going to play on the right side centre-back position and Delit on the left, which is what's been happening, then Delit goes up against Lukaku. Cool, that's a young battle versus a, a, a much in his prime striker. And Benucci, very, very good defender. We saw it over the course of the Euros, but he's not the quickest. He's not the quickest. And that means maybe Hudson Azoy could, could tire him out. Let's see what can happen. Saka knows about that. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> 
Oh, no. But in terms of Juventus, guys, I am going with a 2 0 predictor scoreline. I'm going to keep dragging this 2 0 predictor scoreline until I get it. I asked for it against City, it was rejected. <laughs> I'm going to keep dragging it with me through each game until I get what I want. So it's 2-0 this game. If I don't get it this game, I'm rolling with it into Southampton. I'm not stopping. I won't quit until I get what I want. And lastly, as you're letting me in the comments know about the team, as you're letting me know what your thoughts are on Pulisic, who was meant to be out for 10 days, is now is out for multiple weeks. What is your worries and concerns about that? There was a little tweet from Fabrizio who said, listen, there is no public contact contract talks between Sané and Pulisic for the Juventus sorry for the Bayern Munich swap potentially there's no there's no official talks there so so you can calm down on the Sané situation but I have to thank you 18,000 subscribers people thank you so much for that really appreciate it as I said me and Saj we're going to be going to the game against Southampton on the weekend so I'm not going to be able to do a watch along that's right we're going live and direct to Stamford Bridge we're going to be watching the game I can't wait haven't been to a game in years now, obviously, lockdown and whatnot. So I'm really excited to be going to the game this weekend. So if you're there, come and say hello. Come and, come and piss this brother off. You know what I mean? Come and let him know about his team. Uh, they just beat us. Maybe not good timing. But anyway, come and say hi. And um, like I said, thank you so much for 18,000. I really appreciate it. Smash up the likes. Let me know in the comments, people, what you're thinking. And I'll see you, man, in a bit. W settings only, people. I'm serious this time. You literally just took it out. I know. That's why I'm... That's literally not w Re re rebounding, if anything. Please stop recording. <laughs> <laughs>